Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions. This is our Market Insider Commentary. Tuesday morning, September the 20th. Thanks for joining us here. We are looking at uh, early morning grain prices, six, seven cents higher in the soybeans, about a penny higher in the corn, and we're mixed in the wheat. Don't have a lot of trade direction here this morning. We are getting a little bit of support from the outside markets as the FOMC meeting begins today and runs through tomorrow. And we are uh, looking at the weather forecast and giving some support to prices based off of the lack of harvest activity. We should see a lot of harvesting being done, more corn than soybeans in Missouri, southern Illinois, and Indiana. But that uh, means soybeans should have higher prices as we won't have much harvest pressure. And this is due to wet conditions. Now the 6 to 10 day forecast does have wet conditions into the end of the month but it's not a major concern for the trade at this point but it does look like corn harvest is going to be done probably a little quicker than what the soybeans will so we are seeing support in the soybeans more than uh, what we've seen in the corn now yesterday funds were big buyers in palm oil futures especially bean oil and malaysian palm oil is higher again overnight that's giving us some sort fun support funds were buyers about 5,000 contracts of bean oil 4,000 beans and 1,000 corn. We look for them to be buyers once again this morning. Livestock trade looks mixed at best. Two-sided is likely in the cattle. We had uh, expected we'd see some selling resistance at the 50% retracement, which we did see. Uh, we backed off of those prices, but I would not be surprised to see us take a run at the 62% level. Cutouts are mixed. I don't think the outlook is real bullish. So if you're a livestock producer, maintain hedges, or if you want to put some on, Look for rallies in the next couple days in which to do so. Our uh, spec trades here, I like the bonds from the long side ahead of this FOMC meeting. I do not expect the uh, Fed to raise interest rates. And if they don't raise rates, that means we are undervalued in the bonds. We have fallen here. Seasonals are higher in the bonds. But we have fallen ahead of the, the meeting, anticipating that they will raise rates. I don't think that's going to happen with the shaky.